Marlene, I want to talk a little bit about the 80s and the AIDS, because both of us were in the theater at that time, yeah. and both of us watched what happened. So Watch them fall, yeah. God, performers in your shows were just disappearing or getting sick or... I lost three stage managers. It was amazing. Which show? Just when Different shows? Gone time. Yeah, just. At the Free Theater, I remember they started, it was Berkeley downstairs, they started writing the names on the concrete blocks. On the walls going oh up, God. you know, to the green room, they just started writing names on the concrete blocks, and they just name, name, name. It was a plague uh, that w we didn't know what to do with. That's right. We just never had s experienced anything like that before. Oh. Well, I'll tell you. Well, I'll say it on camera. It was, some of it was a real eye-opener for me, I'll tell you. In what way? Just realizing how, how big the gay community was. Right. Yes, that's true, because you found many friends. You Well, I don't know, you know which way they swing. You knew which way they went at a certain, at a certain point. Well, T. Michael Reed, who had done Cats, and he was doing Wizard of Oz for me with Madeline, the two of them. And he died before they even got started. Yeah, that was tragic, too. Just... Uh, It, it's a, it, although it seems to be under control, so to speak, now they, they do what they're supposed to. I often wonder in, in, re wonder in retrospect if we, the theatre community, have memorialized that loss appropriately. Probably not. I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't think of any. Well, I did a show called DQ, with Drag Queens. Talk, took us a while to explain to people it's not the Dairy Queen. <laughs> and we did the show in two or three places. And the best cast, and when I found out how wide the, the gay community was, I mean, we had casts of 32 and at, at Hard House. I mean, backstage was never the same. Um, and there were doctors, lawyers, Teachers. One, I had seventeen teachers, three principals, and and two doctors. And, and I mean, it, it just they finally settled down and said, "Okay, let's get this over with. Let's come out and get get some medical care." Right. I mean, it was really shocking to me right. that the, the community was so large. Yeah, because many weren't out, right? No, no for a multiplicity of reasons, yeah. but many were down, and yeah. that accelerated that as well. Yeah. Actually, um, Michael Murphy from Cats, um, when we did the quilt, the AIDS quilt, every Wednesday and Sunday at Intermediate, everybody would run down and in between shows and sew, and get it. he did the big tire on the, uh, he's an artist, he's quite famous now, apparently, and uh, it was just everybody pitching in to try and help, you know, it was nice. 